Hello everyone, this is Groove Mixer, and I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, MIDI mapping the Vastex VCI 400 to Tractor Pro 2. Now I am using um, the TSI file for the Ian Golden edition of the 400, uh, which I downloaded from djtechtools.com. It's a great website if you guys want to learn um, other things also on the MIDI mapping. Uh, check out the forums there. Um, so what I basically did is I wanted to customize um, the 400, uh, but I didn't want to change or start from scratch basically because it is a pretty um, heavy MIDI uh, mapping that they did. So I didn't want to lose all these features, um, but I had to learn what things did. So I don't know if this is if this is all going to work for the regular 400, but I'm sure but I'm sure you guys can modify it. I think the MIDI um, codes are different from the in golden one to the regular. So um, just open up the control manager. Now to learn something, basically what I did is I just added in a control. I set your, your controls basically in alphabetical order. So just click on control and that'll set everything in al alphabetical order. And then what I did is I just took something that started with an A so it basically falls to the top. So let's say auto gain. And click on learn and then push whatever button you want to find out what it does or where else it's mapped to. So I'm going to push a deck B play. And that gives me what deck, the code for deck B is. And keep it highlighted and then if you scroll down you'll see all the other features uh, what that button does. So that's how I learned what things do and where they're programmed. Uh, I didn't want to mess them up. So uh, people were asking about how I got the play button to flash. I added in a beat phase monitor. Um, and you basically have to go add out output beat phase monitor. And with those settings, you would take it the minimum to minus 0.3, max 0.5, um, media range 0 to 127. Um, so just follow this. So basically this note right here, I'll hit B here. So you can see channel four, note C1. You're gonna have to learn what those are. And basically that's my B right here, the button, the code for my B. Um, so you have to go actually in to the learn here. You can't learn it for output. So you would have to actually go to the channel. So channel four, note, and I forgot what it was, it B, sorry, note C sharp one. So you would have to do that for all um, the buttons you want programmed. And I just lost that one, but it's okay. Oh no, I don't, I did it. So you wanna learn what the button is you want to flash, and then you're gonna have to program it with the bead phase monitor. And you can do this with other buttons and with other features too. Um, does get a little bit complicated, but I played around with it and I got it working. For uh, the scratching, let me just get rid of this. Don't forget to delete whatever you're trying to uh, map just to learn with so it doesn't mess up. Delete that. And for the scratching, um, I only played with the scratch feature. I didn't add anything else. Let me scroll down here. Do -do -do. Okay, so as you can see, I'll go to deck B. All I did, um, <clears throat> didn't change anything else. Um, just modified the rotary, rotary sensitivity and the rotary acceleration. I set it to encoder relative. So everything here was already here and I just we just modified the percentage and then also the tension on the wheel. So you're gonna have to play with it a bit. Um, basically, it loosened it all the way out, so it's uh, the loosest, that's even a word, and then I just tightened it about a quarter of the amount it would tighten. And uh, But you're gonna have to play with that and see what you like. Uh, so I think that's basically all. Uh, again, media mapping is pretty um, complex, um, but if you just play around with it and learn it, uh, it's not too shabby. 
So I hope this helps you guys in setting up your VCI 400. Um, yeah, so have fun with it. Take care.